Well, hello everybody on YouTube. This is an afternoon after work. Yeah, back at it again. Little details, doing little things. We're going to show you, but here is the drain line, the two inch drain line coming out. It is glued. It is fit and glued. I have the two inch Schedule 80 bulkhead. Then I have two inch pipe. I have a fitting. It's a screw-in fitting. It's a thread to slip. And then I have my little piece, my elbow. Goes over here. Goes to a 45. Goes to a 90. Goes into the top of the sump. It will be going right down feeding the drip tray. There will be filters. Filter uh, media there. I will have... Uh, sponge filters. I'm probably going to get ones that fit the whole top. They'll be about an inch thick and I'll just keep cleaning them like I did the other ones. I used to use the uh, the two color, the blue and white. And then I would clean them once or twice and end up just pitching them. But uh, these here I'm probably going to get a good coarse pad and maybe a fine one just to put on top of it for extra particulate gathering. That will be replaced. The coarse one will be rinsed and the, the fine one will be replaced. Now, this is the return line. It's inch and a half. And it goes right up the back, into the back of the tank, up at the top where the return is going to go in. Back under here I have a union. So if I ever have to take the return pump out, I can just disconnect it right there. Then I just have that section of pipe, a small piece of 45, and then straight down to the return pump. And then it would be able to come right out. And then all the way over here on the other side is where we have our other drain, two inch drain with our bulkhead in our section. Basically not the exact same measurement because the sump is over to one side a little bit so I would have access. I wanted a nice full doorway down there. I've got some space off the wall and then I got the sump and then I got a bunch of room on the other side because I want to be able to go in and out of here a lot. My little cubby hole and that does the same thing. Drops right down and something I just installed today is a power strip. That's going to be, that's a 10 outlet power strip. It's a nice big heavy duty industrial one. This will run my, my two heaters. And then out of that I'll have my return pump. And I like running an air bubbler with a 12 inch air stone underneath the bottom of the media to have more oxygen going up from the bottom as well as trickle coming down from the top. That's something I started doing a long time ago and I like the way uh, it's it's feeding the uh, aerobic bacteria and then there'll be a lot of anaerobic bacteria. I'll, have a, I'll probably have 20 uh, bags of ceramic rings in the bottom of this and I'll have about, oh goodness, at least 30 gallons of media between foam, the uh, pot scrubbies and the bio balls. And uh, there you have it. I just wanted everybody to see in some bright light what it looks like underneath this behemoth tank. You see the camera shuffling. That's because I'm scooting all the way back across. And then this is my nice big opening. I got this here cardboard so the cats don't get fancy. Behind this I have my acetone, my denatured alcohol, some tools, assorted stuff. It's about 10 inches or not quite 10 inches between the cardboard and the wall. Alright everybody, I wanted to give everybody a look at what we had going on here. Update on the plumbing. I've taken the braces down off the glass. It's going into the third day. I'm feeling better and better every day about it. I could do this thing every every single day and still feel nervous whenever you're putting a thousand gallons of water in something. 
I think if it doesn't make you a little bit nervous, then uh, either you're really, really, really good or you're just too cocky. So hopefully this Sunday, that's what I'm thinking. This Sunday we're going to go ahead and do our first test fill. I've got the Stockmans done. They're a little bit tall, maybe. I've got them painted. I'm going to, you know, dial it in. This is the time to dial it in. So there you have it, folks. Have a great day and a great week. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment and a subscription. Subscribe to me. I sure appreciate it if you haven't already. And uh, tell me what you want to see. I'm going to try to do as uh, much content and answer as many questions. And just this is this is all about the uh, the family. This is all about the community. So I want to I want to be a good part of it. Thanks, y'all. Later.